guys and welcome back to Whiz Kids Online. Online. We will be jetting off on an amazing adventure. And we'll be travelling to some cool places. So stay tuned as we get, get on, on the, the go. go. Zoom! Final boarding call for flight 910. Now it's time for you to guess where we're travelling off to first. The clues will come up on your screen and when you think you know, shout out your answer.
day, mates. How you going? That's just the Kiwi way of saying what's up. It's so good to see you, my fellow GeoQuesters. I'm Wand Around, and I'm here to confirm your latest location. You have landed your jandals on the Wop Wops of New Zealand. Though the native language of New Zealand is English, you may be surprised by some of the vocabulary they've created for themselves. Like jandals are what we call sandals, or being on the Wop Wops is another way of saying you're in the middle of the countryside. But why would anyone be way out here? Well, tending to their flocks, of course. That's because sheep outnumber humans three to one here in New Zealand. If you need to get around while you're out here, get ready to board your own personal kayak. That might be a lot of rowing, but over 33% of people own one, so all aboard. Oh, and you've come to the right place if you're afraid of snakes. This island is known as being quite the snake-free zone. No reptile house at the zoos around here. In fact, there's only one zoo on the entire island. But why would you need the zoo when you got all those sheep? With an average yearly temperature of 65 degrees, there is no need to pack a coat, but definitely bring your swimsuit. There is nowhere on the island that is more than 79 miles from the sea. Oh, and while you're hanging out by the sea, wave hello to the penguins, because in New Zealand, there are 13 different types. That's more than anywhere else on the planet. What'll we even do with all those penguins? Get it? Waddle. The official sport of New Zealand is rugby. In fact, they won the very first ever Rugby World Cup. Now I know what you're thinking. Do they even have enough people to make a team? Maybe they recruit from the field. Could you imagine an all sheep rugby team? While that would be pretty awesome, I'm willing to bet you're not here to cheer on the Rams. I'm sure, however, you'd like to know where the souvenir can be found. Well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It can be located at the coordinates, 36 degrees, 50 inches, four feet southwest of, I'm gonna be honest, still not good at this coordinates thing, but I'm guessing you'll want a little more help than that. So of course, Wander Around has got you covered. Here are a few hints to get you started. This souvenir would love to share, but its coat really can't be removed. You count it when you're sleepy and snuggled it when you were a kid. Check back in once you found the souvenir. Hi, Miss Kids. How are you guys doing? Our story today is about David, and we're going to be talking about Psalm 23. There's a guy in the Bible named David, and when he was younger, he was a shepherd. Shepherds were the people who took care of sheep by leading them to food in green pastures and making sure they had water to drink from the streams. If a sheep wandered away from the flock, the shepherds would go to find it and bring it back. If a sheep fell down between the rocks and the shepherds couldn't reach it, the shepherd would use their crook to help rescue the sheep and lift it to safety. Shepherds also protected the sheep from harm, such as wolves and even thieves. Being a shepherd really helped David learn a ton about God, and he wrote all about it in Psalm 23. Here's what David wrote. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. He gives me new strength. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right. Then David wrote, Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid, because you are with me. Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of the resting on my head. You give me more than I can hold. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Just like a shepherd loves and protects his sheep, 
God does that for us too. God t will tell us the right way to go and he'll make sure we have all we need. If we ever feel scared or alone, we can trust that he is there with us. Amen. So has anyone figured out what souvenir we're trying to find? Here are the hints again. Man, I sure do quest with the best. I knew you would find it. You found the sheep. Way to go, questers from out westers. Now, I hope you didn't have a bad time finding our furry little friend, but there's a reason I wanted you to find the sheep. So let's start from the beginning. Have you ever felt lost or alone? You'd think with all my questing, I wouldn't, but I sure have. The reason I had you find the sheep was because it's a great reminder that one of the names of God is shepherd. That's right. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're not actually sheep, but we're kind of like them. You know, we love to snack all day and sometimes we just wander off. So let me explain. There was a guy in the Bible named David, and when he was younger, he was a shepherd. Shepherds were guys who took care of sheep by leading them to food in green pastures or meadows and making sure they had water to drink from streams. If a sheep wandered away from the flock, the shepherd would go find it and bring it back. Shepherds carried a long stick with them with a hook on the end called a crook. In the Middle East, where the stories we read in the Bible took place, there were some rocky, hilly areas. If a sheep fell between the rocks and the shepherd couldn't reach it, the shepherd would use the crook to help rescue the sheep and lift it to safety. Shepherds also protect the sheep from harm, like from wolves and thieves. Being a shepherd really helped David learn a ton about God, and he wrote all about it in Psalm 23. It's about how God loves us and protects us, just like a shepherd would with his sheep. Here's how it goes. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. Pause. Doesn't that seem great? I mean, who wouldn't want rest and a nice cold drink? So refreshing. Back to it. He gives me new strength. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right. Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. Okay, okay, double pause. So get this, God gives us strength and he helps us know how to do what's right. And if we're going through a tough time, we don't need to be afraid because God is totally right there with us. I mean, is that a good shepherd or what? Answer, yes it is. Oh, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, you prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of blessing on my head. You give me more than I can hold. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I keep doing this, but this we gotta talk about. I mean, prepare a meal, blessings, more than we can hold? Sign me up for that, please. Oh wait, um, I don't wanna forget the best part. Let's keep going. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Wasn't that great? You see what I mean? Just like a shepherd loves and protects his sheep, God does that for us too. God will tell us the right way to go and make sure we have what we need. And if we ever, ever feel scared or alone, we can trust that he's there with us. And now you can remember that God is my shepherd. All right, my favorite questers, I'll see you guys on the next trip. Until then, don't rest on the quest. Keep traveling the world, trust me, It'll be worth it. It's Laura here. I just wanted to bring a quick prayer to you before we finish this morning meeting. Um, so if everyone now close your eyes, lift your arms, or however you most feel comfortable. 
and we'll get to praying. So Lord God, we just thank you for this amazing morning that we've had learning more about you and how you are shepherd and how you um, guide us through everything that we go through, Father God. We just thank you that no matter what comes at us, Father God, that you will help us get through them and you will give us that refreshing pool to drink from to make us feel happy and refreshed, Father God, and just ready to fight anything, Father God. We just thank you that you are there for us and that you love us and we just pray that we'd have an amazing week full of your goodness and full of us understanding that you are there to make us happy and you are there to help us throughout everything. We just thank you for that. In your name, Lord. Amen. And bye, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this adventurous episode. Don't forget to have a go at the activities in your activity packs. Stay tuned. And we'll see you on, on the go. go.